What's going on? Welcome to episode two of the Sasha Show. Now, I was out teaching a course yesterday, and one of the students, he was very excited and happy after he got rejected. And I'm going to talk about the importance of overcoming rejection in today's Sasha Show. So check out this clip first. And then Sa Sasha told me, why don't you go and ask her on a date? So I did. She said, no, but I feel awesome. I feel great. I feel so free. To so you be. see how he was actually genuinely happy there? He was literally ecstatic that he got rejected. Now, why was he ecstatic? Uh, ecstatic about this because most people would be just sad, they'd be crying, people are terrified of this, why is he so happy? Well, you know, I've, I've covered this in a lot of other places, so just briefly, everyone has an ego, it projects an, an idea of what you are, and so if you think that you're a cool person and people like you, and suddenly you're put in a situation that might challenge that, that idea of you being a cool guy, you don't want to do it. Your ego says, no, 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 don't, don't take this chance because if you fail, suddenly you're not a cool person, whether that's starting your own business or, uh, I don't know, asking your boss for a raise, talking to a beautiful girl and getting rejected, and what any situation like that, your ego always pops up and goes, no, 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 you don't need to do that. Don't, don't do that. So, so what happened to this guy is he was basically doing a bunch of social freedom exercises that uh, me and my buddy Marcus have come up with over the last uh, many years. And after like systematically doing all kinds of stuff where people judge him and he stops caring and, and he just cares less and less and less and less and less, after all of that and him realizing over and over again that actually people judge him and think he's a dick and it makes no difference to him whatsoever, after all that, he runs up to a girl. He's in a great state. He feels good about himself. He's realizing that it doesn't matter what other people think. He's realizing it only matters how he feels about himself. Then he runs up to a girl and asks her on a date, and she rejects him. And he's just like, she rejected me, but that's fucking awesome. I don't give a shit. It's the realization. This is the part. It's the realization that he no longer cares that he's been rejected that is so powerful and so freeing. Okay? Once you get to that point in life where you just do not give a flying fuck what anyone thinks about you anymore, you're free to do anything you want in your life. And this is this is a pattern I've noticed over the last many, many years uh, in teaching my courses. It's not just, you know, the fact that guys can now fearlessly approach beautiful girls. Who cares about that? Um, what about finally taking other chances in your life, getting your health together or starting your own business or quitting your shit job and traveling around the world and doing whatever you want? You know, there, it's absolutely infinite what you can do. When, you're, when you let go of fear and realize that actually nothing happens if you fail, nothing happens if people reject you. Um, there's only you can only gain lots and lots and lots by taking chances and learning from your mistakes. Uh, and there's only everything to lose if you don't take chances and you're terrified of rejection. So when you get to a point where rejection is your friend, because it reinforces again the fact that you don't care. If you really can get rejected, then go. I don't give a shit. And you keep doing it, and you keep learning from it, and you keep getting better, and it actually keeps reinforcing that how good you feel about yourself. That even being rejected doesn't bother you like it bothers other people, then you're coming from a place of, you know, internal gratification, internal love. Like you think you're great. You're doing a great job. You respect yourself as a human being. So fuck what everyone else thinks. Man, that's a great place to be. And that's the only place you, you should be striving to be. So that's a little rant there just about uh, some thoughts on rejection and how you can actually learn to love it and how it can be your friend. This is your friend, Sasha, and I'll see you in the next show. Peace.